Hi guys, and welcome to my tutorial this afternoon. Um, I'm actually going to be going over the Yabase uh, Sega Saturn emulator for the Wii. Uh, it's quite laggy, guys. Um, well, actually, it's, it's really laggy. Uh, it's almost unplayable, pretty much. Uh, but I was asked to do this uh, tutorial here, and uh, so here it is. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there for you guys. If you want to check it out, you know, play around with it or whatever. Uh, you can so uh, here it is I'm gonna hop over to the computer now and I'll uh, show you how where all the files go and all that good stuff then we'll hop on over to the Wii so uh, let's do this guys cool right. okay guys uh, so like always the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna grab up all the files we need and it's gonna be uh, on a media fire site here I'm gonna go ahead and download it to the desktop Getting all kinds of uh, let's see. all right, so that should do it right there. Yikes, what is this right here? Okay, so we're going to extract it real quick. <clears throat> all right, here we go. <clears throat> all right, so uh, this is what we got here, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, I need to go into my SD card also. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I've already got it in my SD card, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Uh, if you don't have this apps folder on the root of your SD card, you're simply just gonna drag and drop this, yikes. Drag and drop this over onto uh, your SD card, simple as that. If you already got it, then just uh, copy the contents of that apps folder and paste it right inside your apps folder on your SD card. Okay, simple as that. And let's see. This folder here, this contains all your uh, your games. This is where your games are going to go right here in your games folder. Uh, of course, you got your cart saves. I don't know what the carts is. I have no earthly idea, so I, I haven't messed with that yet. But here's your bin file, right? your bin file yes the bin file but this is your bios uh if you read right here let me go ahead and rename this i'm not rename it but just to see what it says it says copy here the sega saturn bios file as bios.bin that's why i renamed that uh bios guys i renamed it to bios.bin all right uh, some games i heard guys uh work with the with the bios enabled they work better uh some games do not so you just have to play around with it <clears throat> But uh, there's a couple of games that I'm going to show you. But uh, I think it's like two games. But you, just give you an idea. And this right here, this will create a channel for you guys right here if you want to create a channel on your on your Wii system menu. Uh, so that's that right there. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, I forgot to tell you where this goes, didn't I? All right. This just just uh, it's going to simply be copied and paste right here on the root of your SD card. That's it, guys. All right, simple as that. <clears throat> go right on the uh, root of your SD card. And once you do that, you're ready to go over to the Wii. And uh, the bad thing about this, guys, also, is you have to put all these games on your SD card. You cannot boot them up from your uh, your hard drive or your flash drive. Uh, I've tried it, and it just it won't do it. It won't, it won't read from the uh, hard drive, so... <clears throat> Just be aware of that. Okay, so cool. Uh, let's go on over to the Wii guys, and we'll we'll see what how it how it goes. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So let's just jump right into this, shall we? Okay. Uh, so here we are, and uh, guys, I got a slight little problem. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to show you guys how to uh, create the channel. Uh, because every time I go into my WAD manager here, my Wiimote seems to I don't know why yet. Uh, it also does that with the uh, multi-mod manager. So uh, I got to resort uh, to this homebrew channel and boot it up the old-fashioned way, I guess. So let's do that. Okay, so here's our Sega Saturn emulator here, a Yabaze, and we'll go ahead and load it up. Oh, 
Okay, so here's our Yabaze, our Sega Saturn emulator uh, options menu. Um, I haven't really messed with any of the settings, guys, uh, down here or nothing like that. Uh, I've actually went into them, but I didn't really see anything that would uh, help the emulator uh, with, with the games or anything. Uh, if it does, it'd be, it wouldn't be... Uh, that significant and you know in playing the games you know what I'm saying it's like you'll see how laggy it is and I don't think any kind of settings in here are going to help it I think it's just totally um, uh, I don't know the word for it but anyway um, like I said before uh, I read online and some of the games work with the BIOS enabled uh, I mean they work better with the BIOS enabled and some work better with the BIOS uh, disabled. So uh, you just have to play around with it. Uh, right now, I've got the BIOS enabled. Uh, so now we'll go uh, to load ISO Q. And I've got, it, it'll pull up all your Qs right here, Q files. Um, I got Brain Dead and Radiant Silver Gun. Uh, so I'm going to go with Radiant Silver Gun. And we're going to. Uh, go to start emulation at the very top and guys we should start seeing better emulator uh, better Sega Saturn emulators coming out uh, simply because uh, they've actually cracked the Sega Saturn uh, before they didn't know exactly how it emulated uh, I guess the games or something like that but uh, yeah here recently uh, I've read it had been cracked so we should be seeing some better emulators, probably on the PC first, most likely, and then maybe port it over to the Wii, hopefully, uh, so we can play some Saturn here. Um, but I am in the market for the Saturn, guys. I really am. I really want to play some of these shmups. Uh, they had quite a few shmups I've seen online. I was like, I've got to get my hands on those things, guys. Got to. But yeah, here's uh, Radiant Silver Gun. Uh oh, I just called it. Okay. You can see how laggy it is. I don't think anything you do in the settings guide is going to help this game. Really, I don't think so. It looks like a really fun game, though. It's kind of. I don't know about you guys, but I gotta have my game at full speed. I mean, it's like a CD. I mean, if you put a CD, in, CD uh, into a CD player and it starts skipping. I mean, it's just so annoying. Uh, I just, I, I just soon just throw it away. But uh, it's something like that. If it's laggy like this, I just, I just can't. I can't deal with it. <laughs> I just can't. All right, but I'm gonna end this tour now, guys. Uh, if y'all want to play around with it, you can. Uh, maybe you can go through some of the options uh, and settings and play around with those. Maybe you can get it to work a little better. If you do, uh, please let me know. <laughs> it's pretty easy, though, to get going, right? It ain't hard. I'm going to end the tutorial now, guys, and uh, put this up in the out if you want to kind of play around with it. Uh, so, I do have other tutorials coming up, guys. Uh, somebody's asked me to do a couple on the NES, the uh, Sega, uh, not Sega, but the, uh, yeah, actually the Sega CD, I think it was, uh, Super NES, and a couple of others. Uh, those, those are coming up. I'm going to go ahead and do those. You know, might as well. So, until then, uh, y'all game on, uh, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial or gameplay. Uh, it's Bobby signing off. Y'all have a good one.